apologize for my very not well done makeup and kind of look today. I haven't been feeling the greatest lately, so I haven't been able to film as much as I'd like. But there is a quick video I wanted to make because I just got my Itsy bag in the mail. So you can tell that just as I was about to open it, I was like, nope, gotta, gotta take out the camera, gotta make a video. <laughs> I don't know what's inside. Um, I'm just gonna open it with you guys. So this one is for the month of January. So the first thing that I pull out is one of the little card that kind of gives you the theme of the bag. This one is Fresh Start by Ipsy. Hmm, okay. This is the bag. It kind of feels like those plastic tablecloths, not gonna lie. Um, it's blue on one side, white on the other, and it's kind of sad as I've been getting Ipsy bags. Um, I, I've been getting more and more that I am not necessarily a fan of. I'd have to say this one is kind of the ugliest to me by far. But hey, maybe that means there's awesome products inside to make up for it. Okay, so the first one is a brand I've never heard of. It's called Hikari and it's an eyeliner in the shade Storm. Okay, this is weird. I did not expect this. I actually thought it was a black eyeliner and it's not. It's like a silver one. It's not exactly the most smudgy kind of uh, eyeliner. I'd compare it to like a drugstore one. I cannot imagine using this in your waterline because it's a bit of a medium sort of gray. It looks a little bit darker I think on camera. You have to really work at it and I can just imagine this really hurting your waterline. So probably for lining the outside of your eyes. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a fan. It's not that I won't use this, but silvery gray kind of eyeliners are not necessarily for everyone and I find that they're kind of harder to make a look with or work with. And it's also a brand that I just don't know and I've never heard of. So to me, that kind of devalues it. Okay, next product is kind of cute. Um, it is the All Over Eyeshadow Brush by Elizabeth Mott. I've never heard of her either or her brand, but this is the brush. It's pretty cute. I like that it's pink. I like that it's an eyeshadow brush. Not necessarily something that I would buy myself, but I mean eyeshadow brushes are always handy, so not bad, but not something I'm totally freaking out over. However, it could be a really good brush. So this is a brand I've gotten the nail polish of before in Ipsy, Natural Mineral Coconut Eyeshadow. Rich lasting eyeshadow infused with coconut for a velvety finish. Okay, so it's really, really cute packaging. Um, I didn't even know Pacifica had eyeshadows, and this one is in the shade Ethereal. Um, so basically it looks like that. I, okay, so it's a thicker eyeshadow, so if I build it, it probably will, um, show up. Yeah, so it's, it's not, it's actually not shimmery, it's just kind of like a, it's a little bit more of a matte, I guess, finish to me. It, it has a little bit of sheen to it, but not a lot. If it was an expensive product, then I probably wouldn't purchase it. Because right now, it's kind of working like a cheaper eyeshadow. The next product is the Malin and Gotez Mojito Lip Balm, a daily protection soothing treatment. So that is what it looks like. It smells like lime, just kind of limey and minty. It's clear. Um, not a brand again. I don't even know. I've never heard of this brand either, so no idea on its background. However, a lip treatment or a lip gloss lip balm, something I could pick up on my own and probably would. However, it's something different, it's a different brand, so that's kind of interesting. Smell is nice, it's good for winter, so again, not complaining, but not something I'm super crazy excited about, but probably a little more than some of the other things. Okay, last product. Pull through for me, please. Okay, interesting. It's in bubble wrapping, but as you can tell, it's a blue nail polish. I don't really own a lot of blue nail polishes. Okay, so the color is... it's not as bad as I thought. Another brand I don't know. So this one is by the brand Pro Bell. It's in the shade into the blue, so it looks like this. It's kind of like, it's hard to explain, it's like a dark light blue is all I can explain it as. It's like, if you see it in person especially, it looks like it's supposed to be a light blue, right? But it's, it's a deeper light blue. Not 100% sure how much I will wear this color. I like to stick to warmer colors, it just looks better on me, as you can tell. I like my pinks. Blue is okay. <laughs> Blue's okay, but it's just not something I'm exactly freaking out over. 
meh. I guess honestly, if I was to kind of rate this bag, this is not a bag that I would normally spend like, because in Canada you have to pay for shipping, so it ends up being like $17.80 with tax, instead of being, I think, the $10 that it is in the States. This is not one that I would spend personally $20 on. Damn, that's a bummer, because I got all excited, and I pulled out my camera, and this is an Ipsy bag that I actually, like, filmed, which has not happened in a while. The products that I am kind of excited to try would be the brush, because brushes just, like, kind of hard to mess up, I think. The brush is, and it's pink, it's kind of cute, so I'll probably throw that in my bag and use it. I definitely want to try the lip balm treatment. It's just always a good thing to have especially in winter and probably the Pacifica eyeshadow just because I do know the brand and the color isn't as bad as I'm thinking like it's it's light enough that I can use it yeah so that was the ipsy bake for January and my review on it if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more videos and comment below and let me know what did you think of the ipsy bag for this month whether you're subscribed or not I mean like even from watching my video what do you think am I being too harsh am I not being fair I don't really know um <laughs> but how would you guys feel if you got this bag or are there any products you'd be stoked to try comment below and let me know and I guess that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!